Hello, everybody. Welcome to House Together. My name is Home. I am Alone. And I am Thor. So today, we're doing Home Alone 4. It's the best movie. Yes, it's the best in the series. This, it has a total one star. I love the description of it. It's just recycled gags with none of the original's charm. This movie's really good because you know all of the cast. Yeah, this looks like if Walmart made Home Alone. Like, everything's almost the same, but no. All right, well, do we have any uh, reviews? Parents Guide. Violence. Slapstick violence and perilous scenes. A mansion gets flooded and trashed. None of that sounds extremely violent compared to the other two Home Alone movies. Yeah, the original movie, somebody got, like, their face burned by an iron, and then this movie's like, oh no, they fell. Language between siblings includes lame brain, cheese face, wedgie. I didn't know wedgie was a swear word. You have to bleep the W word like that. You can't say that on YouTube. Oh, I'm gonna say wedgie. Oh my god. So this is already gonna be a great movie. I'm not ready for this. Look at that. It looks like the intro to, like, news. Yeah, it's Channel 4, Home Alone. Oh look, it's the house. Wait, who's Stuart and why is he French? Whip in alphabetical order? Why? Just making sure you guys know, because this is apparently important, it's alphabetical order. It's very important. I just said to rehearse. Where is Joanna going? <laughs> I'm showing a house and I need you to babysit Kevin. Oh, I can make him do it. He looks about 12. Who is he going to babysit? Michael Weinberg as Kevin. <laughs> it's not Kevin anymore. This is Michael Weinberg. Senator, you don't have to go to the movies. I do if I want a life. <laughs> I can't have a life without movies. I'm glad you're 12. My life at 12 was having a very hot HP laptop in my lap and falling asleep with Minecraft on my screen. Oh, thank you. Okay. He likes a lot of vehicles and that is his whole aesthetic is vehicles. No, Dad. That's not easy to explain. The writers, when they don't want to write a reason for the divorce. I was like, all right, guys, we gotta, we gotta figure out a reason why his mom left. Um, yes. We don't know. Anyway. Kevin, come in here. Yeah, hurry. I there was a shot of neither subject there. They were like, Kevin, you have to see this. Hey, Kevin. Get off your brother. Why did everyone have like curly hair before 2010? Was it a rule? If you didn't have curly hair, George Bush would come into your house and shoot you. <laughs> hey, the guy. Wait, dad came back from getting cigarettes? Hold on, that's the same dad from the first Home Alone. No, but they're both like balding 40-year-old men who have no personality. So, um, dad, why'd you come tonight? So, um, dad, why'd you come tonight? D D dad! Uh, okay, I don't, I don't think I got that performance just right. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> no, it's fine. No, hello, how are you? No, you're divorced. I'm gonna marry her. Really? Yeah, because I am a grown man with my own life, and you do not have any say in what I do. Listen, divorce means you have to stay alone forever. BRB getting a divorce so I never have to get married. I just wouldn't be right leaving the family at Christmas. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. Can you act? I'm sure this nine-year-old kid has that kind of logic. Well, I would have to get a passport and a travel visa, and flying is very difficult as 9-11 just happened prior to this movie's release. There's a lot of things to consider here, and it's the holidays. You know, how nine-year-olds are. Dude, that's how I imagined you as a nine-year-old. Honestly, though. That is how I was as a nine-year-old, and it was the worst thing in the world. <laughs> I won't be back too late, and since you're staying home, it wouldn't hurt to do some of your chores. When you get home, make sure to do your chores. Wow, look at them doing chores together. They're helping each other. Why is it playing, like, menacing music? <laughs> Oh no, they're taking out the trash. Ew, did you see that transition? That transition was like... <laughs> Whoa! I'm sorry that you're so unhappy. Maybe you should go to your room and think about what you have rather than what you don't have. You know how you feel bad? Well, I'm gonna make you feel worse. You're sad? Why don't you go feel sad somewhere else? Can't take all this sad on my steps. Go to your room. <laughs> Wow, this is such a great shot. It's just like car. <laughs> it's like dirt and the car from Gmod for some reason. We can't reshoot this. We only have $17 to make it apparently. Door open. 
Can't wait to get you smart hinges for some reason. Smart hinges? <laughs> your power goes out and you're just stuck in your house. I am on the verge of signing two of the biggest clients in Chicago. That's because you're the best publicist in the world. <laughs> <laughs> this is some dialogue. Yeah, we're having a natural conversation right now. This is the equivalent of like Call of Duty campaign dialogue where they're like, get to the checkpoint and we'll infiltrate the base. <laughs> nice house, huh, pumpkin? Sure is, Mob. You sure you don't want to rob it? That is just crap Harley Quinn. They watched the Batman animated series once and they were like, Yep. You sure we can pull it off? Man without Harry making the plans? <laughs> she was just actually eating while they were shooting this and they were like, okay, we'll just leave it. Wait, are they implying this is one of the first two guys? Yeah, th that's Marv. No, it's not. No, it is not. That's Marv's like forgotten brother. <laughs> this movie is like if somebody thought about Home Alone. <laughs> It's like they gotta visit. You know, you look more suspicious when a taxi passes if you're like, Oh, God, we gotta lay low. <laughs> Can't see me if I'm not here. Kevin! Yeah! Why does this man have a bowl of meatballs on his table? <laughs> no, I know it's not actually meatballs, but that's what it looks like. But my dad did invite me. Yes, I know. Why was that so much louder? She's like, yes, I know. Somebody did the sound for this movie. I like doing sound. By that, I mean somebody put a microphone in a room and then they dropped the raw clips into iMovie and they were like, I hope there's <laughs> nothing bad about this audio that you're going to hear right now. Wow. Yeah. It sounds like I'm in a bookshelf. You are in a bookshelf. Look behind you. Whoa. <laughs> Did he say something and they cut it out there, the father? <laughs> this is a smart house, Kevin. It does whatever you tell it to. Door open. There is no point to that. No. Like, I know some people are like, why would you want smart lights and smart plugs? You can use the switch because you can do it from anywhere in your house. But I'm never like across the room and I'm like, I want to open the door. <laughs> The only use for that is if your hands are full. Yeah, and you have to use the remote in your hand. Wow! <laughs> Why is there three speakers next to each other? Actually, there's one, two, three, four. There's like six of them right there. He has like the tree of speakers you see at really fancy events. Where it's, it's when you want to hear it really, really good. Oh my gosh, this is such cool stuff. Oh my gosh, this is such cool stuff. I really like the objects in my place of living temporarily. <laughs> Six VCRs! Six! What for? And there's like 75 screens. What does any of this do for anybody? There are 13 TV screens. <gasps> it's that trope where somebody just holds someone's shoulders and smiles. My spine would leave my body. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is so cool! <gasps> Guys, this is so cool! How many times can I lose this child? Kevin! Do you look under the bed for your children often? Hey, mom, just, just shake the food container. He'll come out. It's not in there. <laughs> Why do you have to leave? It's so close to Christmas. Their camera is so zoomed out right now, you can see the lens hood. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no. They shot this on, like, the first Canon Rebel camera. <laughs> like, thanks. <laughs> Guys, I wonder if that's gonna end up being the bad guy. Hey Molly, what you doing? What is she dusting? She's like- <laughs> She's dusting the air. Hmm, yes. It's clean now. I'm glad this is the bathroom scene from the first, second, and third Home Alone. Yeah, except this bathroom looks like it's out of Saw. Why does Marv have a vendetta against any house that Kevin is in at all times, always? Anybody in here? Well, not now. Shh. Hey, I'm robbing your house. Are you in here? I'm Harley Quinn from Walmart. I'm glad it's just about the flood. Yeah, it filled up that fast, too. <clears throat> I'm glad he's about to spray them with water. That'll, That'll do something. Oh, I'm glad this shower has, like, fire hose mode. Well, they're the wet bandits. Oh, look, he's completely dry and the water doesn't come out of the bathroom when you open the door. 
I'm glad all the budget went into filling a house with water. <laughs> we filled a house with water, not clickbait. I did see Master Kevin playing with the devices as if the house were a big toy. It's only like we gave him the remote and showed him how to use it like a toy. These people are asking to get robbed the way their security is set up with one guy who has all the information and no recordable footage, apparently. Yeah, and the fact that their remotes apparently do not have voice recognition. Anybody can use them. You don't go to other people's homes uninvited and you don't touch their things. You were invited and you were given a remote to touch the things. This literally isn't your home. Nor is it his stuff. Oh look, there's another set of speakers. Wait, the <laughs> pictures aren't level. No. Oh. oh no. And then there's just a crane because this is Nashville, the room. <laughs> This is the worst royalty-free version of Jingle Bells I've ever heard in my life. What is the chord progression? Yep. It sounded like they're playing two songs at the same time and then sang over it. Like some of it's major, some of it's minor, and like in the wrong places. And then there's just strings going do 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 and following the wrong bass line. Sometimes when, when two people get married really young, like your mom and I did, you just end up feeling kind of... You missed out on some things. Stop acting like you understand how marriage works, you are nine! I know all about the inner child, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> That worked really well with Brent's bit. Kevin always puts on the star. How many Christmases has Kevin been nine for? Four, exactly four. He's just perpetually nine years old. You know, he's a leap year kid, therefore he's been nine for four years. <laughs> he is 36, apparently. That would actually explain why he is so mature. He, he was ballistic, he was crying, he was so upset, it was, oh my god. <laughs> so, Peter Paul When you zoom slowly in a movie, when this happens, it means somebody's falling in love. Somebody else. Out there's falling in love. Hey guys, I'm single. <laughs> I must be really in love. <laughs> you're zooming into the wall, Brendan. That's yep. not what you're supposed to zoom into. <laughs> You've heard of 9-11. Welcome to 9-12. If 9-11 was so good, why wasn't there 9-12? <laughs> Can we make that <laughs> joke? Because I want to leave that in so bad. It's been almost 20 years. I think we're fine. <laughs> it's just I want everything to go right. Come on. Let's not be late. I don't want... No, I want it to go left. And then she goes to her left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just to not be sus, let me make sure he doesn't see me. So I love the trope of every time a kid sees anything in a movie, they go... Like a dog, you know? That thing that humans do. Yep. Pog. There it is, there's the face. These movies are the reason why I thought anyone wearing a beanie was a criminal as a child. Buy our beanie from shop.mws.media. None of us are wearing it right now, but buy it. I have just about had enough of you and your melodrama. Melodrama? Is that the thing you take to go to sleep? Hey look, they're in the meat locker. Join our Discord. They called Jude the comedian. He does it for a living. <laughs> Two to go. You can open those from the inside. That is a very intentional safety feature that is in every walk-in freezer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Except for when I worked at Kroger and the freezer barely would open from the inside. And sometimes when you push the handle, just nothing would happen. That is terrifying. Yeah, and I'm just in a freezer and I'm like, <laughs> and then the vents come on and it's getting colder. <laughs> Kroger death machine. <laughs> Kroger's just trying to kill you. Not wrong. What if we announce our engagement tonight? Jude, let's get married for tax reasons and make microwave society even cheaper to run. <laughs> I have one less W9 to send out at the end of the year. Bren, if we adopt you, we can make this all one package. It's so much easier. We can probably legally get away with all of that. Yes. Door open. Glad they just read the script out loud. Door open. Reading the script out loud has been the entire movie. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh-huh. We cut down the rope. That's not suspicious at all. That wasn't loud when you threw an anchor into the hallway, apparently. Just <laughs> oh! Wait, why wasn't that mentioned in violence? 
Oh no, oh no, I hate it. What just happened? Uh, he looked at his butt, and then he fell over like an airplane, apparently. <laughs> Did they call it 913? <laughs> okay, so they heard that, but not the window being blown out of the house. They didn't hear when the anchor was thrown, when they went out the window, when the frying pan hit a man's face and he screamed, but they heard that. I want you to go to your room and think about what you've done. Go to your room and play your games on your 13 TV screens and ignore everything that's going on. That'll teach you. Penny. <laughs> Penny. 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 Kevin. Kevin. P Penny. Penny. Ke Shell done. Kevin. Everyone's parents get divorced. That is objectively not true. No, about half of everyone's parents get divorced. Prescott is not their accomplice. <laughs> I am. Whoa, what a plot twist. That literally doesn't matter in any way at all. That doesn't make any sense, though. Instead of it being one person in the house that is their accomplice, it's a completely separate person in the house that is their accomplice. Wow. Then why did Prescott let them in? I do not think they are going to give the full Knives Out 30-minute explanation as to why the plot twist works. I mean, we do have, like, 30 minutes left in the movie. Yeah, 15 of that is going to be alphabetical credits. <laughs> <laughs> He dialed four numbers. Hello. Hi. Can you help me out of the wine cellar? No. Okay, bye. <laughs> I guess I'll call somebody else. You're not gonna try calling anyone else? There isn't like a phone line for the house or- Or you know, the police. Like, hey, we're locked in a wine cellar while people are holding a royal family hostage. Let's call my brother who's like 10 and can't do anything. Hello? Yeah, it's the three people that locked you in there. Hey, why don't you just scream door open really loud and then maybe the door will open because I believe you still have that remote. You, you were just... <laughs> <laughs> what is that for? A dumbwaiter? No, what you're... Why would you need it that low? Do you sit on your feet? <laughs> sit down? Yeah, on the floor? You better stay... That would actually decapitate him. It doesn't just stop because you want it to. Oh, Hang on, baby! Oh, no, no, no. You have the m mental capacity of a toe! Over here! Ah, uh, yes, the very specific scenario where they get stuck in the dumbwaiter and then you have them walk toward this part of the kitchen only to hit them with the pot. That moment when you get stuck in a dumbwaiter twice and then you get hit by a kitchen pot because you're in the exact spot that you need to be. Nine fourteen. <laughs> I was about to say nine fourteen. <laughs> He went back into the Indiana Jones door void. Bar for vol sesame. What is that for? It's just gonna fling all the bar stuff off of it. And then there's this carousel, like carnival music, like bee, boo, doo, doo, dee, 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 like bleh. Spin faster sesame. Okay, if the wife's not good. Is all the stuff glued on? I'm sorry, that's not how centrifugal force works. They would be into the wall and then smacked by the bookshelf by now, but okay. I'm glad NASA's conducting experiments in this house. Scout Sesame! Oh yeah, I'm glad their momentum slowed down just when they got at the chandelier. <laughs> and then the chandelier made a shatter sound effect, but nothing actually broke. <laughs> Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. Good night. Oh. What just happened? That was like seven different things at once. Boy, am I glad to see you. Boy, am I glad to see you. Gee Willikers, Prescott. Boy, am I sure glad to see you. We should call the police. Maybe you should have done that like four hours ago when all this started. <laughs> oh no, the taxes, they're coming for me! The IRS has arrived. <laughs> oh guys. Kevin? Hey guys. Good job, we did a really good job, guys. Did your ring just <laughs> launch into the ether? I think I mistook 
infatuation and excitement for love. Can this be over? <laughs> My camera was like, yes. That movie was butt. Lurk. <laughs> Follow us on twitch.tv slash microwave society. We also have a Twitter. Follow us at society. Of, mm. Thank you guys. And uh, you, 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 soldier boy. Have a day.